family. They live and breathe football. Dad's coach senior footy. All the sons have played top grade. And daughter Jenny, she's as much a part of the game as the boys in her family. Heading probably the most famous football family in Australia is Foss Williams, a past Port Adelaide champion, a former South Australian state player and a multi-premiership winning coach. Then came his sons and first among them was Mark, one of the toughest ball getters in the VFL and after four years as captain of Collingwood is now playing for the Brisbane Bears. But the Williams story is not all glitter and glory. Mark's twin brother Anthony had his career cut short when he was tragically killed last year in an accident while renovating his house. And then Stephen arrived. He spent a season trying to make it with the Bears and now is back starring in the centre with South Australia's most powerful club, Port Adelaide. But that's not the end of the story. There is one girl in the family who readily confesses she'd rather be a boy. Why? Because when you're a girl, you can't play football. Bubna's been playing fairly well, Manda Maker. They've got to really contain those players to stop um, Central's run on game. But, so um, Jenny Williams is doing the next best thing, commentating. She's been in the job with radio station 5DN in Adelaide for six months, and it's been a testing time. If it had been just a general female, I think they would have found this job very hard, but because I'm sort of from an accepted football family, who would have been willing to give me a hand rather than be negative about me? Before each match, she must go down to the change rooms for the team list from the football managers, then does on-air updates and match summaries. But nothing's new under the sun, and as a child, Williams had an extraordinary football background. Because I had to take the stats every week, I had to take the teams down on the radio. In those days, there was no television shows, and um, Mum and I, I used to keep stats on every person from every team, and that way Dad used to use them to devise who was going to stand who and how they were going to tag people out of the game. The reaction from the public has been absolutely positive. 5DN Sports Director Gary Bowe says it's been a great innovation. We're happy to have her as long as she wants to have us and uh, uh, she's got very good credentials for uh, both calling football and uh, reporting on it. But Williams is part of a very proud and tight-knit family and what matters more to her is what they think about what she does. They told me that if they thought, and we had an agreement, that if they thought I was not doing very well or really struggling, they'd tell me and I'd get out of it. If they were to get a girl to probably talk about football, they probably couldn't have got anyone with uh, better qualif qualifications than Jenny because um, she's sort of been there and done that with Dad and Mark and Anthony and myself and she's grown up with footy as we have. But the story doesn't end there either. Williams is a sporting magician herself. Right now she's in Perth leading Australia's defence of the highest possible title at the World Lacrosse Championships. It's a pity it's not in Adelaide because I do believe here we have the uh, biggest lacrosse following anywhere in Australia. The media is fantastic here in its promotion of us. But um, Perth, we haven't got a girl from WA in the team so there will be no real, real home ground advantage. But then again we should have the crowd barracking for us. It'll be nice to play on the worker again. That refers to the fact that she has already played cricket there for Australia six years ago. In her own right, this woman is a sporting marvel. But if she was a man, who knows? Pat Micken reporting for Sports World. Yes, who knows? I might add, uh, Jenny is an excellent footy commentator. And who knows, next year we might just see her on the Seven Network commentating VFL. OK, let's cross...